This answer is powered by AskQuesty.com. Get help with your Shopify questions or tasks on demand. Hi, everyone. So today I'm going to kind of explain the different terms uh, for some of the records that we use in order to transfer our domain names over to Shopify. So a lot of the times you're going to have to change your A record as well as your C name record in your hosting in order to have your domain, domain name in Shopify. Another one that might need to change is your MX record, which hosts all your emails. Now with Shopify itself, if you do not have email hosting, which means you, there's not going to be you know, an admin dashboard where you're going to be able to see all the emails that you get um, and respond to. It's not like uh, Gmail, et cetera. What Shopify does, if you have bought your domain name from Shopify, they offer email forwarding. So say you want to set up an email that says info at myshopify.com. You're able to forward that email to another email that you have that you've purchased um, and into that email hosting that you have. Okay. And then there's other ways that you can forward. Even if you haven't bought your uh, domain from Shopify, there's third party ways to um, email forward your emails. Um, and that's a little out of the scope of this video. But right now I'm going to explain some of the common terms that are used when we're talking about the DNS as well as A records um, and C name records. So I made this little Word document. So pretty much that what DNS, which stands for Domain Name System, it's pretty much the phone book of the internet. And pretty much what happens is that all the different IP addresses that are on our internet go through this system and the um, so we see domain names, and this is how we understand websites. So, but the computers understand something called IP addresses, internet protocol addresses, okay? So pretty much what DNS does is it translates these domain names into these IP addresses so our computers, our browsers can load the internet resources. Now, name servers, you're going to hear this a lot. You're going to hear you need to change your name servers over to Shopify. So pretty much a name server is any server that has DNS software installed on it. So pretty much what happens is that these servers are owned by a web host and are used to manage the domain names associated with their web hosting customers. So with Shopify, if you're switching over your domain to Shopify, you're going to be asked to change your name servers over to Shopify, and they're going to give you those uh, domain names to use and add to your hosting provider in order for your domain name to, um, once someone enters their your domain name in the, the search, it'll pop up with your content that you have on Shopify. And I touched a little bit about what IP address is. It's, it stands for Internet Protocol. And pretty much, like I said, we see the domain name. We see myshopify.com. And what's behind that domain name is the IP address. There's a list of, of numbers that the computer uses in order to, to identify um, what's, what it is, what, what the address is, what is actually the devices, etc. So one thing that you might have to change when you're switching over to Shopify is your A record. Um, and this is also, you can also see it with the uh, at sign that you use emails like this, okay? And these are uh, the most basic type of DNS record. And it's used to point a domain or a subdomain to an IP address. So this is what you're going to change, say, um, it, you know, Shopify asks you to change your A record and your C name record. Uh, this is what they're referring to. And I'm going to show you kind of what that looks like in the hosting in a second. Another thing they're going to ask you to change is your C name record. And this stands for canonical name. And this is uh, pretty much an alias, okay, uh, for different types of uh, domains. So what it does is it gives uh, it gives a map of a, a subdomain. Say you have uh, www or, you know, maybe you have a non-WWW website, this pretty much gives an alias to that in order for it to be redirected properly. And lastly, what an MX record is, this is what controls your email. Like I said, Shopify doesn't have an email hosting, and this is something you might have to change in order to continue receiving emails at your domain name. It's, it stands for Mail Exchanger Record, 
and pretty much it is the mail server responsible for accepting email uh, messages on behalf of the domain name. So now that we've went through some of the terms, I'm going to show you kind of what it looks like. And I'm using Bluehost. It might be different on your own hosting provider. And I know specifically if you are using HostGator for your hosting needs, you will have to contact support in order for them to change your A um, or your um, C name records or any other record that you might need to change. They don't give you DNS zone access. And so like I, like I was saying, this um, it's usually called DNS zone editor. It might be called something different depending on your hosting. But these are all the host records that I have. Uh, so here you can see the at sign. This is my A record and it's pointing to my IP address. Um, and then this stands for time to live. And usually you don't have to mess with this. Now, if we look at our C name, this is also something. So I have uh, a C name record called www. So pretty much my, my www address points to my main do name address. We also see our mailer exchanger right down here. This is the host record and it points to my mail.wanderdesign.com. And this is because my email is hosted on this domain name. You might have to add something different here depending on your email provider um, and how you want to set it up. So say if you have a domain, and I just did this recently, you have a domain that you've purchased and you want to set up G Suite um, in, your, in your hosting and to be able to continue receiving mail at your domain name. What you would need to do is add a new hosting record and Google will give you um, the different types of addresses and domains that you need to point to and then you put it in here and then you'd be able to re receive your mail. So if we go to Shopify, how this is uh, controlled, if I go to uh, online store, I'm going to get out of here for a second. And if you go down to domains, so what's going to happen is if I had, I don't have a domain on here yet because this is just a test uh, development site. But what would happen is you would click connect existing domain and then you would follow the steps. You would enter your URL, the new domain that you want your Shopify store to point to. And then you go through those steps and click uh, connect now. And it will verify that to make sure, you know, you would have to add your hosting credentials so it can verify that that is actually your domain and you're allowed to use that domain name. And then it will say, okay, now you might have to, like I said, change some things and Shopify will give you uh, this information, how to change your A and C name records. Um, and then once you get those, you'd go back into your DNS zone editor, add whatever you need to add, whether it's your C name, as well as your, um, your A name record and point it to Shopify in order for your new domain name to be linked to your Shopify store. I hope that helps and have a great day. Was this helpful? Ask a Shopify question now. AskQuesty.com.